the animals see us in our wholeness. They don't see us with all the labels that society puts on us or we put on ourselves. They don't see us with blame or shame. They just see us in our true wholeness and in our beauty. And as they look at us and they interact with us, they help us start to see ourselves that way. I'm Sonia Wingard and I'm the Executive Director of Animals as Natural Therapy. Mobile Ant really started back about 14 years ago and its inception was really prompted by our director Sonia having this group of girls in drug and alcohol recovery that we work with at the farm. And she had worked as a nurse when she was younger and then she'd worked in nursing homes and so she really felt like that was a valuable place to learn about life and learn about elders. And so she decided that she would like to try bringing these teen girls to the nursing home um, to start practicing some of the things that they were learning at the farm. I'm Jessie Pemble and I am the mobile ant coordinator for Animals as Natural Therapy. I have actually been connected to ants since I was a kid. I came to summer camp here, I came to programs here, so it's really fun to now be back in a position where I can now help other people access ant. Animals, just like people, have different personalities and attitudes, and it's actually really fun to get to know our animals because each one is different. So this is Ingrid, one of our rabbits, and Ingrid is a mini lop. Ingrid is probably one of our most popular mobile ant visitors because she's so sweet and because she's so soft and curious, you'll usually see her popping her head out of her basket to say hello. And she is the bunny known to give kisses, to kind of nibble on people. For our mobile ant crew, we have our rabbits. And right now we have four rabbits that regularly visit. Tinkerbell is our famous traveling hen, traveling chicken. And we also bring our miniature horses. We have three miniature horses right now, Toby, Persephone, and Midnight Mocha. Our van is a Ford Transit cargo van, and it holds three miniature horses and as many bunnies and chickens as we can fit in cages, and two big dogs and two of us driving, which is really amazing to have a farm rolling down the road basically it's been such an incredible gift to us it was it was donated and um, had a lot of community support to make that happen we really saw the value in connecting elders with animals and also connecting elders with children and having an intergenerational component uh, many of the folks who are in nursing homes right now are the generation that grew up on farms and so they have a real connection to farm animals um, and so for folks who are dealing with dementia and Alzheimer's and other sorts of memory loss and things that you're dealing with as you get older, having connections to your youth and to your younger self can be really powerful for people who are away from their own families and away from their own animals. Just by placing a bunny in a basket on their lap, you see people just light up and kind of come to life. Um, we interact with a lot of folks who, when we get there, are pretty withdrawn and maybe not very verbal, but as soon as they get an animal on their lap, they wanna to talk to us, they wanna tell us their stories, they wanna know all about the animal, or they wanna know about the kids who are bringing the animal. Sometimes they're more excited to see the kids than they are the animals, and that's okay. That's part of that intergenerational piece. We have a couple places that we're going right now. 
um, that are regulars and so we see them twice a month and so we've really gotten to start establishing relationships with people um, even though it's a memory care facility they remember us and they ask when are you bringing the horses or when are you bringing the bunnies again and it's just really delightful to get to bring joy to these people who we don't really know much about their the rest of their day the rest of their lives there but we know that we can make a difference in that hour that we're there. If a resident touches a bunny maybe too harshly or too roughly, they're gonna get pretty instant feedback from that rabbit like, oh, I don't like that, that's too hard. Um, and that's right there, a learning moment that maybe Maybe they won't treat their caregivers so roughly next time that they're upset, you know? So it starts to translate into the other areas of their life. As much as these animals give and give and give to the people who come here, they also need love and care, and we take just as good care of their mental and emotional health as we do of the people who come here. It's been so cool to see the support from our community of all the people who want to participate in Mobile Ant to give back to this population that we often kind of shun out and close out. I see this farm as just kind of a sacred place where people come to discover their possibilities and become their best selves. 